I've been like sitting here waiting. I can't even concentrate because I'm just like, what? No. Yeah. All right, guys, so my dad called me this morning. We're still in quarantine, and he said, he mentioned to me last week that he wanted to meet me, that he missed me, that he wanted to talk, and um, it already raised a question to me. I was like, huh, that's kind of suspicious, but I said, maybe he has too much of the quarantine, maybe he's tired of it, and he just needs to talk to somebody. So I didn't make a big deal out of it. But then this morning, he said that he wanted to come here, meet me, because he needs to tell me something. And that scares the heck out of me because I don't know what he wants to talk about. Um, so I have a delivery for the hospital this afternoon. We're delivering free pizza again for the nurse at 4 p.m. until 6. So I can't meet him. I said, you want to come before? He said, no, I'll come after your delivery. Which raises even more question because I'm afraid now that he didn't want to screw up my day, ruin my day by not telling me what it is. He'd rather tell me after so then the news, you know, won't like ruin the whole delivery. That's my feeling. But now I'm extremely nervous. Uh, I almost wish that he told me on the phone. I'm just weirded out by the whole situation. He comes here and he's telling me something not important. I mean, I'm going to send him back home. I'm not going to be happy about this. But sincerely, I, I'm afraid that this is not a good news, really. So I'm recording this now because I don't know where this is going to head. So I'm not going to film when I go meet him, obviously. But this whole thing is so weird. Am I adopted? Is that maybe that's what it is? If he tells me I'm adopted, I, I'll be ahead. I don't care <laughs> as long as you're not sick, really. Oh, gosh. I mean, what is it that he can't wait two weeks or three weeks to tell me? I don't I can't. I don't know. There's a lot of things going in my head, guys. <sighs> Hope he's OK, really. I've already lost my mom, so couple of years ago and anyway guys that's the news that's what's happening so we'll see a little bit later when uh when he comes here i'll update you on this if this ever make it to the web i don't even know i just i'm just recording it in case that maybe i don't know i don't know what i'm recording i just feel like i have to record it i record stuff sometime for my fam for my kids to look at it later on that's the goal i want my kid to look at these video later when when i'm older and like they have like a kind of a database you know a source of like oh this is what my dad was this is what my mom was this is what they went through this explain why they were like this or you know so they have some sort of ideas of who we were for me i think the vlogging things is that's what it is for so when something big like this happened, I want you guys to know too, because you're part of the family. I want this to be like an honest vlog where you guys feel like you understand what we're going through. So, so that's our vlog. That's our life. That's, that's what's happening in our, in our, in our life. So uh, these big thing I feel are important to be there, but mostly they're, all of these are for my kids, which they don't understand right now, but I know later on when they're older, they will get it. I'm pretty sure. And also, like, when they miss me, they can come back and watch me. And then, you know, I'll, I'll always be there for them that way, you know. So I wish I had these kind of videos from my mom, too. To be honest, I don't know if I would watch them, though. I might be creeped out by this. Dude, are they going to be creeped out by this? I'm sorry, kids. If you guys are creeped out, hmm, I don't know. But I love you. Love you a lot. And you're a big part of why I'm doing this, so. All right, guys, that's it. We'll see what he tells me later. And uh, it might not be that bad. Let's stay positive, okay? It's not a bad news until somebody told you. So let's keep going. Let's see what happened tonight. We'll go for the pizza. I'm going to have a good day with my kids and I'll update you guys on uh, what was the situation there. What did you want to talk to me about? What happened with the doll across the street? What's that? Huh? <laughs> Why did you bring all these Barbie dolls? Oh, because they're going to play across the street. So you well, bring two houses? I brought two Barbie houses, brought all the toys across the street. <laughs> so the girls are going to play the neighbor. Thank you, Lorena and Yan, because they're going to watch them. Well, they're pretty much watch themselves because we're delivering pizza to the Jewish hospital tonight with Brigade Pizzeria. We're giving pizza to the nurse and doctor there. Yeah, so... It's... Not feeling it today, but we're gonna do it, <laughs> no, right? I know, because it's actually so beautiful outside. I would love to just spend the whole day, you know, in front of our front yard, just hanging out here. For myself, that was more about my dad's news that I'm not sure what's gonna happen later. So I don't know if I'm feeling it so much, but also the fact that I haven't drove downtown in a long time. I'm feeling very awkward driving around. So you're gonna play there with them? Yeah. All right, guys, see you later. Baby, I'm home again. I think our tree got coronavirus. Boxes are defeated. Purpose always fleeting. I poise questions to the ceiling like an answer gonna come. Truth is too revealing. Life is easier concealing. All emotions to the start on your heart going numb. I shouldn't be in drive more. I just want to feel alive more. I feel hurt all the time, boy. I can't see straight. I've been running on the freeway. The 
till I get blinded by the headlights They go past me, I see the last me that I ever will be And that got me asking, if living this lightly Is that been the right thing? Or should I been a little bit more focused on the place that my feet needed to go? And as they go past me, I see the last me that I ever will be And that got me asking, if living this lightly been the right thing, or should I been more focused on what he wanted to go? If I die right now, no lie, I'd have a few regrets. I just spent more time on biking instead of smoking cigarettes. Wish I worked more on music instead of alternating steps. Probably should have talked more to people I thought were interesting as heck. Probably should have gotten closer to my mom's after pops drawn out of death. I wish the best, I wish that, and all the rest. Sometimes I wonder if I felt more at home in my own skin Instead of always feeling fake But my genuine moments stop feeling off and out of place All my smile seems strange I walk like I'm trying on a wig Or a mask, or a laugh, or a face Or a faith in my place in this path But so I'm trying to change that And live inside the moment, not the past See the present unwrapped Cause the moment's all we have Till it's gone I'm just waiting, hoping the next one go last A little longer than the one before it Cause there's only so many I can grab But they all start slipping out of hand they go past me, I see the last me that I ever will be And that got me asking, if living this lightly, is that been the right thing? Or should I been a little bit more... Alright guys, so we're on our way to the Jewish hospital with the delivery for the pizzas. See you there. See the last me that I ever will be And that got me asking, if living this lightly, is that been the right thing? Or should I been more focused on where feet wanted to go? I thought you was wearing my feet We don't know. It's Pavilion K. It's a different what do you group. Mean? I'm not going to the same place. No. I was going to the same place. So tell me where to go then. Well, I don't really know. <sighs> like we're here, but I don't know where the Pavilion K is. Let me look at it. Okay. A. Wait a second, guys. We're looking for the location. We're not sure where it is. We're eating there. Don't worry. That's amazing the amount of people downtown. There's so many people, guys. We just passed by the area where there's the most case in Montreal right now in Côte des and there's like people all over no masks nothing like it never happened it actually feels good to see all these people not care right it, it looks like it's back to normal I know it's not but it looks like it's back to normal okay five six seven six seven Le Jar. this is the same place that we went last time five seven so it's six, right seven. back there guys let's go Right here, right? Yep, last time I parked right there. So I'm gonna park there. Five, six, seven, six. Yep, it's right here. Five, seven, six, seven. Yep. That's what I just told you? Five, seven, six, seven? Yeah, five, seven, six, seven. All right. Let's going there? Do, yeah, I'm doing it. Let's do this. Okay, let's, let's see who to do the, this. I'm gonna call the girl. Hey, where's the bag? Oh, there they are. I'm calling the nurse. Are you calling the nurse? Oh, you're so beautiful, baby. Huh? You're so beautiful. I am? Show me your eyes. With my mask on? You have beautiful eyes. Thank you. Alright, so they're here. I think I'm going to wait for you outside this time. Then It's... Uh, it's Grace. I'm calling from Brigade Pizza. She... You're doing a pizza donation. You told me to call this extension for someone to come pick up the pizza. All right, guys. So we're here at the hospital. Grace is going to deliver the pizza. We're not going to go in this time. Uh, she's just going to bring the pizza. Yeah. All right, everyone. So we're here at the uh, Jewish hospital today for another delivery for the nurse and doctor. Thank you very much for supporting us, guys. You allowed us to stay open. You allowed us to still be in business. Uh, we can't thank you enough for that. We're really grateful. Thank a lot. Keep ordering on Uber, DoorDash. Otherwise, give us a call. You can come pick it up. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay strong. Be positive. All right, guys, so we're done with the delivery of the pizza. Everybody's happy. Everybody's getting good food. Thanks for following us, guys. Thanks for being there. I'm going to see my dad now. I don't know what he's going to tell me. I'm very worried about it. I have another I put another theory where it might be my brother. Uh, has he passed away? I have no idea what's going on, guys. We're going to figure out soon. It's a crazy story, but it's my day. And this is what my day is like. So what do you want me to do? I'm not going to film the part where I meet him. So I might see you after. I might not see you after, depending on the story. But stay positive. I love you. Stay strong. And maybe see you later. Maybe not. Let's go see my dad. Uh, 
All right, everybody. So I haven't uh, spoke to you guys since the uh, video where I was going to see my dad uh, to see what he has to tell me. Um, <clears throat> I was really worried about what he was going to tell me. Uh, it turned out that it was not as bad as I thought. Well, not as bad. No, it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I'm very happy. Like, he's not sick. My brother hasn't died. But my... Uh, so his his girlfriend, which is acting as my mom, because my mom died a couple of years ago. They've been together for 25 years. She hacked pretty much like, like my mom at, at this point. And she's like the grandmother of my, of my children. They're getting separated or divorced, but they're not really married, so they're, they're splitting. He, so that was the big news. He wanted to announce to me that he was going to leave his girlfriend from 25 years, which was a big part of my life and my child as well. Uh, it was a very uh, emotional because we... Uh, uh, well, it's kind of touchy and I, I don't want to lose the relationship I have with her because we have a very good relationship and my kids love her like a grandmother and she's she's the grandma of my kids so um, we treat it as, as that way so we want to keep the bridge with her so then it's ha it's all happening in good term it's all happening in a good way they're not bitter they're both really sad somehow they're they're adult they're going through their thing it's been a week or so but since I filmed that video I just wanted to understand and clarify to make sure that you know what was the real thing here so that so that's why I'm recording this like later as I'm editing the video right now that's the story guys uh, thanks for following us uh, thanks for being there we love you guys stay positive stay strong never give up and we'll see you in the next episode